Hello guys and girls and welcome back here for another update. Today we are watching Bitcoin and this is a great day. Coming uh, to the resistance zone we are expecting it to, to test uh, in um, it is like three weeks now probably more like one month and um, as you see right here it touched uh, today touched the resistance uh, since it's the bland, the, the last day of the week, um, that's the resistance uh, still here uh, on the weekly chart also. And if it manages to stay right here on 21.5k, at this level right here, also above the actual 50 RSI and the 26 SM, uh, EMA, if it manages to do so, we'll probably see tomorrow um, the retest of um, um, of the weekly probably uh, onto the twenty point five k or anyway the test if it if it comes to twenty one point uh, seven as you see right here. And it touches the the, um, the upper Bollinger bands. It uh, it, it can uh, be bullish because it, it will break on the daily also the this trend line right here. Meanwhile, on the weekly, um, it just need to be right there on the um, on whatever more likely on more than 20.9, 20.8 to close the weekly and test the trend line right there. Um, I would like to see that this trend line broken uh, also on the daily, but we'll see. Uh, we need any way to be more likely right here 21.6, 21.7, 21.8, 21.9. That is, anyway, our um, 21.964 is the actual upper Bollinger Bands, and that's our resistance, uh, more, more or less in the same spot of the, of the actual trend line. And today we are seeing that being uh, our resistance. That's a huge resistance. And I'm thrilled uh, about tomorrow and the price action of tomorrow. What will be um, if we don't manage to break above the resistance and we fall below just before the close of the week, uh, where the retest of these low are probable. The retest of these lows right here, and also uh, even um, if we come close to retest this error right here and or the RSI 30 daily we, we could closer to get another drop down from uh, 21 point um, 21 point 5 actually uh, to the 13 point 5 14 K that is b because of the fact uh, that we had this um, this error volatility on the Bollinger Bands daily that's huge and anyway let's go on for now we'll see um, tomorrow how it goes and how it close uh, we have this um, ethereum bitcoins that got his daily rsi uh, over over both and touched uh, the 200 ema i actually uh, took profit here on this um, on these green lines took profit took profit here took profit also on the 0.0, .0 six five uh, but uh, those uh, those profit i i bought in again at 0 0.3 um 0 0.3247 uh, here just because of the fact that if it continues to break in and go touches maybe the go to touch um this 0 0.7 0 0.67 um 200 daily sma or if it has this trend line right here I'll be ready to uh, take a profit more I always have I anyway have more um, more uh, limit buy on below and you'll know because I posted on uh, the chat of the chain loss call Ethereum Bitcoin really really huge move yesterday as we already speak, uh, spoke about that's because we had the more capital entering the, the Ethereum uh, Bitcoin uh, enter in, in the zone um, in, in ETH as well. 
and uh, more people uh, trying to get as much of ETH as possible before the 19th of, the se 19th of September when uh, there will be the merge. Actually, uh, we don't know if effectively because it's been postponed like eight times now. I don't. I don't really. I, I just lost the count. But uh, that is that. What is actually um, why it is actually so um, moving so. And um, another fact. Another big fact that I that I watched today is that as you see right here, this is the crypto dominance, all the crypto dominance, and uh, as you see right here, most likely in bear market 2018, 2019, 2020, um, the the dominance of the crypto uh, is was coming above. Meanwhile, as today is just starting uh, slowly coming down. Um, meanwhile, the actual uh, um, dominance of stable coins, uh, dollar pegged assets, because th these are do those before uh, where these are dollar denominated asset, these are dollar denominated um, dollar uh, pegged assets, um, and you you'll know the difference obviously. And uh, dominances and this dominance uh, right here. Meanwhile, in the last bear market, we had this dominance uh, um, obviously uh, losing ground uh, because um, these pegged assets to the dollar were entering the market to buy cheap price of bitcoins, of ETH, and uh, all the other altcoins there were in that time. As of today, instead, there's this climate of risk adjust, uh, adjusting uh, um, and risk uh, risk of asset uh, being purchased and risk of assets uh, getting um, and getting left behind. So you see that we have this um, this difference in the movement of the stablecoin dominance and um, the behavior of the actual investors, where um, we are not. Still, the crypto market itself is not seen uh, very safe. It's still risk off, uh, risk on environment, and uh, still the investors um, are not seeing this um, this shift that we need to to have to come into a bull market. Um, so that in, in when we'll have this this stablecoin dominance getting a little bit down. Um, probably will will have the bottom, and we'll uh, we are seeing right now this kind of uh, bull flag actually uh, um, on the pegged assets. That means that from here it could uh, they could um, skyrocket again, or uh, just lose its ground, lose its um, bull flag to the downside, coming back here, and that will mean uh, the end probably of the bull market and the bot the bear market and the bottom of the. Um, of the um, the crypto assets and also the actual um, stock market in general. Today I'm not covering the, the stock market because it's uh, Sunday and it's closed, obviously. Another fact is that we have at the end of the um, is that we have at the end of um, the month uh, actually um, a majority of uh, option closing. And as you see right here, they are closing. Uh, uh, let's take those. They are actually closing with a lot um, of strike price, um, uh, 22 from 24k. In the middle, 23k is the most huge. And so they are pricing in at the end of the month for Bitcoin still in this price zone right here, and um, or uh, or above, because uh, you you buy equal option. Um, thinking that the price will go up and as you see they are pricing in a 30k uh, Bitcoin with a strike price of 23 and uh, so they are in uh, waiting for at the end of the month the 30k Bitcoin that is actually something that we already discussed um, and um, as you see right here this is exactly uh, the actual uh, uh, 29, 28.6, 30k. Uh, mm, okay, more or less the same. 20, 25 to 30, more or less in this zone right here. The actual, our actual, 
um, resistance uh, that is the short term realized price okay short term all the realized price and um, that's important for me because probably we, we are going to see this kind of move happen uh, effectively if uh, we are man we, if we manage to break the trend line I already spoke about today so we'll see but uh, that is my point of view right now since the market is still um, retesting another time uh, the the resistance zone and this time uh, in the meanwhile we are testing uh, this kind of level so probably tomorrow I am thinking about that that we that if we close about here more or less we'll see a 20.5 and then we'll bring on again in the next week uh, all the next week waiting for this 20.5 20 um, again before uh, trending higher uh, but if we manage to close above uh, on the daily chart also that would be um, that would be huge in my opinion and if anyway um, that 28.5 that is actual uh, our short term older resistance is also uh, this low range uh, of the last the last movement we had uh, before the last lapse and um, We'll see, but I think that um, that will be another, uh, obviously, um, a huge resistance right there. Uh, it's also a little bit of a loop of the 100 EV EMA, and uh, mm, we'll see, because um, still in that area on the weekly chart, we have um, a 20, 26.5, the 200 EMA, the 20 EMA, so still the 26.5, uh, will be a huge resistance also um, also right there and um, if we manage to break above that could be another uh, huge resistance that uh, will stop us um, getting above that or here I don't see the price going uh, up more than 30k at the end of the at the end of the month anyway um, really I don't see it happening we are still seeing this monthly chart uh, a little bit bullish for finally a little bit of a price action appreciation eh? I'm, I would expect at least uh, to reach 26k but we'll see uh, because as you see we, we uh, in, uh, in fact broke, be broke above this trend line right here on the monthly chart and I'm still, in, I'm still here waiting for the weekly and the daily chart we'll see anyway for today is everything guys hope you enjoyed the content we'll see you tomorrow i'm going live today um 14 uh, utc uh, on youtube and uh, you'll find a link on my twitter account uh, i just posted there uh, the link again so we'll see you there or anyway you'll have to watch the entire um you'll get to watch the entire um video if you want um that's on youtube i will let that uh there when i finish the live so for today's everything guys cheers